Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Midori here with the review and recap of Trigun Stampede Season 1, Episode 11. In the beginning, we see Meryl walking around the building with Roberto's weapon looking for Vash. She runs into Wolfwood. She's seriously trying to find Vash and he's acting like he doesn't care and says he doesn't know where Vash is at. He said a smart remark. She kicked him in the leg and he said, what was that for? She said she was disappointed in him. I'm not gonna front. That kick looked like it really hurt. Next scene, we see Vash and Niles. He ends up using his blades to connect with Vash. The doctor's there. Meryl gets there and she's aiming the weapon at him and he says she wouldn't shoot him then she aims it at the glass and he said it's bulletproof plus disturbing the connection would be fatal the doctor then explains that the plants are husk their true being is located elsewhere in the alternate dimension a higher plane that's where the energy they consume from plants originate plants are merely windows that connect the two dimensions Meryl asked, what does he want? He said, why does she think the twins are the only ones with their own will? He hypothesized that the key difference between plants and independence is the existence of a soul. In order for them to give plants souls, they must connect to the core. Meryl asked, what core? He said, the manifestation of the beginning and the end. The source of all matter and energy, access to the core gives the plants souls. That's his objective. She said, is he intending to make every plant on the planet independent? That's pretty wild because without them, the people on that planet won't make it for too long. The scene goes to Vash. He's in the same place he ran into Niles years ago. Niles brings up about what he said a long time ago about him freeing the plants and he needs Vash's help to make it happen. Vash asks, does he know why the humans abuse the plants? It's because they crashed on that planet. Niles did not like that response, so he dropped them through the floor. Back to Meryl, the doctor tells her that Vash window is special. He's the only one able to take form and send to higher dimensions. She said he'd never agree to something like that, and he told her that's why he'll be remade. The doctor mentioned the second connection was successful. They can now interfere with every plant using Vash as a window. Meryl was trying to get Vash's attention, but he can't hear her. The doctor brought up memory manipulation. Niles chimed in saying Vash won't recognize anything. Not him, not the world, nothing. We see Vash and he started to see Rosa's son. He said he thought Vash would save them. Then he turned into Rolo. It was so sad that his brother was doing that to him, revisiting some of those sad moments. Now I've said Vash is no hero who will save everyone. He's just a coward who can't stand to watch people get taken out. Then Vash tries to find a way to get out of there and he's at the same place as the crash was years ago. He was trying to throw in his face what would happen if Meryl and Roberto knew he was the one that fought for the crash. We know they wouldn't think bad about Vash, especially after meeting him. They know what type of person he is and that he's trying to help people out. On the outside, we see the plant roots in the room and starting to grow. Meryl said they're like flora. Then it goes to Vash. He was sad until he had a piece of the flower in his hand. He said something and then we see Rim. Of course, Niles is upset to see her again. Then it goes to the doctor quickly. He said, love for humanity versus love for a brother. It will determine the fate of the world. Then it goes to the people on the outside of the city and they're starting to see what's growing around the building. Back to Vash, Rim is talking about a flower. I think that was the same one we were seeing when Vash was going through his memories. Rim reminded Niles not to show his powers in front of the others that wake up from the cryo sleep. He said she should worry more about Vash that he will really become a human. She said that's fine. There's no need to compare himself to anyone else. He is who he is. That's all he needs to be. She told them powers and no powers. Both of them are still precious to her and she loves them. It's still sad to see her scenes and then remember what Niles did. She really cared about them. Later on, Vash and Niles are in some room trying to see what Rim may be hiding. They find another independent and what happened to that plant was not good. Rim ran in there and was trying to calm them down. Niles told Vash without any powers, he is too weak to live as a plant. That's why he craved love of humans over all else. He needed to smile, show his charm, and behave like a harmless pet. He'd never find happiness that way. He had to protect him, that's why he crashed the ship. And at that point, Vash couldn't take it and he got upset. He didn't have to do that at all. Vash trusted some of the humans, probably until they gave him a reason not to. Even at that, he would know that it's not all humans. He can look after his brother, but not to the point where he has to hurt a bunch of people. After that, the doctor says the memory manipulation is complete. The entrance for the other dimension is popping up. Now said he's going to enter the higher plane and directly touch the core. He goes through the portal, sees the core, and he says the independence will bring new order to that world, and that's where the episode ends. Overall, that was a pretty cool episode. I felt bad for Vash having to relive some of those memories, but he did have a happy moment seeing Rim again. Vash may not be himself right now, but we know he will be back to normal somehow, and I wonder how they will handle it. Comment below, what did you think about the episode, and what was your favorite part from it? Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.